Scott says, I'm working with a WordPress site for a client in a technical niche that has no local three pack. I'm using state and city pages. Uh, and the pages are indexing and getting ranked rapidly. Ranking takes one to three days using Index Me Now and ranking in about three to seven days after indexing. Okay. So I think you mean indexing takes one to three days and then ranking in about three to seven days. I'm adding technical and location information for each city page. Should these pages really be posts so they can be listed in the site feed and picked up by our syndication network? Also, should I be using subdomains for each state? Thanks. Um, that's a good question. It's entirely up to you whether you do what is page or posts. Um, you know, the whole syndication thing isn't as important as it used to be. Um, so, you know, you you can do that. Um, I would probably just keep them as pages, but yeah, it's up to you. I mean, you could you could do it as posts. Um, th there are some things that you can do with that as well, but I I probably would just leave them as pages. Um, should I be using subdomains for each site? It's entirely up to you. It depends on what you want to do. I I talked about this Scott in the last mastermind webinar. Actually, um, one of our members. Uh, Jarvis was asking about, you know, should we be separating locations by subdomain? And that's, I've come full circle. Like I said, I just talked about this in the mastermind webinar, Scott. So you should be able to see it in the replay um, from la the last webinar. Anyway, um, I, I went from doing subdomains for, to separate locations for multi-location stuff um, to doing everything on the root domain and in creating location silos to now I'm back to doing subdomains again. And I like it because you can isolate a particular subdomain to where all of the geo relevance on that site is entirely about that specific location. Does that make sense? I mean, you can, you can do that with silos too. I, you can absolutely do that with silos. But I also, even though I'm not doing a lot of spammy stuff, I also like the security, right? The safety that subdomains provide. Because especially if you're going after something national, Scott, there, yes, it makes it more difficult. If you're going after 50 states, you're going to have 50 sites if you do it all on subdomains. I get it. That, that is a whole other set of challenges too, managing that many sites. But the thing is, if you catch a penalty on the root domain, the, the domain, all of its internal or inner pages and any all of its subdomains all get hit. They all contract that penalty. Um, but subdomains are isolated. In other words, like, so if, if a penalty, if you catch a penalty on a subdomain for doing something that you, Google doesn't like, it's isolated to that subdomain. It's sibling subdomains, if there's any other subdomains, right? I call those siblings, or it's parent root domain are safe from that penalty. So again, separating sites by subdomain specific to each location, in your case, statewide, um, I do that by city is the way I typically do it because I don't usually do multi-state projects, if that makes sense. So for tree service stuff all the time, you know, clients do uh, tree service contractors have usually fairly large service areas, sometimes, you know, three, four, five counties, no shit. And so we could do a county subdomains, for example, that's one way to do it so that all the geo relevance built on the count on a county subdomain are specific to that that county, or you could do cities. So the metropolitan areas within those counties that they do service, you know, within their service area. And then you, so city subdomains, which is typically how I do it. And then that way, all of the data about on that specific site is geo relevance specific to that city, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, I prefer to do it that way just because it's, again, if you catch a penalty on a subdomain, it's isolated to that. It's sibling subdomains and it's parent or a root domain are, are safe. If you catch a penalty on the root domain, it's burned. Everything's going to tank. So it's just kind of a safety thing. Um, like I said, I, specifically with the the site structure that I built that I just talked about a moment ago, where all the location pages link to all the service pages, all the service pages link to all the location pages. It's a completely flat site. Every page is linking to every other page. Um, I like to do those on subdomains, Scott, as I mentioned in the mastermind, specifically because I target a, a particular location and then all the geo relevance on is about that one location, be it a city, um, a county, et cetera, however it is that I structure that. So I, I, it's up to you. You can do it both ways. Just be aware that if you're going to do it, it's certainly easier to manage if it's all done on one site and you build location silos instead. But then you also run the risk if something does happen to the site, um, you lose everything. 
So, you know, uh, don't put all your eggs in one basket, that kind of thing. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful.